we're taking a look at over 30 things you only find in Japan. One, cleaning classes. Japanese kids learn how to clean in many schools because it's a part of their education. What? They mop their classrooms and hallways, do dusting, and even clean the bathrooms. Teachers believe it's a great way to raise responsible citizens. It's a great idea. Ramen noodles bath. Ooh, the Unison wait, Spa what? Resort in Hakone offers its guests the pretty unique experience of splashing around in a vat what? of pork soup and ramen noodles. I mean, I love ramen, this but may sound crazy swimming to many in it? People, many. The Japanese believe that soaking in such a bath is good for the skin <laughs> because a broth made of pork is rich in collagen. Oh, Three, bizarre flavors Not bad idea. of Kit Kat. Oh, Chili what's pepper, in these? Wasabi, sweet potato, Chili. grilled corn, soybean, salt, watermelon, mango, green tea, and that's only a short list of the kit really? flavors you can try in Japan. Which one would you try? Let Hit the like button the if comments. you'd want to try one of these Kit Kat flavors. Fake food. Specialists make this kind of food from plastic or wax. Ah, uh -huh. I've seen this in Korea, I think. One. Many restaurants use fake food to display their popular dishes in the windows that's and attract so impressive. hungry clients. Usually, these replicas cost much more than the dishes they imitate. Wow. Five, rabbit Island. Back what? in the 40s, scientists sick. brought a number of rabbits to Okonoshima Island to do some tests. However, Aww. later on, the animals were freed and started to multiply. Oh, wow. Now the island is full of them That's and attracts so a lot of tourists. <laughs> Purakura machines. Wait, what machines? Taking photos in a booth is nothing new, but Japan added its own exciting twist to this experience. Okay. Their photo booths called Purakura allow you to edit photos right on the spot, adding different backgrounds, oh, wow. funny stickers, or writings. Also, you can send the pictures to your cell phone. They had Instagram. Or your toilet. In if, real life. You, know, you have Wi Fi in there. You might never have to leave. They had Instagram in real life before pushes. Instagram even existed. Subways and train stations get oh, really I've heard overcrowded of this. during rush hour. That's why the station staff and part-time workers have to perform the routine procedure of pushing yeah, people they inside shove trains you to on. fit in as many passengers Dude, as possible awful. before the doors close. Oh, Number imagine eight, umbrella parking lot. Wait, before what? Before going inside a building, you can park and lock your umbrella just like you do with your bike. These guys are so now sensible. You can be sure no one will take it, and you won't make a puddle on the floor if your umbrella is wet. It's a good idea. Many government buildings, offices, and hotels have this sort of umbrella rack. That's Nine, so cool. Millions of vending machines. Japan has more than five million of them, mostly Whoa. because they save time for people who work late hours which is a pretty common thing here. Besides, Japanese vending machines aren't just for snacks. And yeah, sodas. I heard you can get anything you can in them. Basically anything. There you go. From live lobsters to underwear in these machines. That's crazy. 10. Tokyo's biggest resident. Ooh. In 2015, oh, wow. Godzilla was granted citizenship in Tokyo's Shinjuku War. No way. The authorities presented a special certificate stating his new residency and also oh, made wow. him a job offer. What? Godzilla became the tourism ambassador. Nice. Later, they even installed a Godzilla head 171 feet above the ground at Toho, oh my the movie God. studio that made the original movie back in 1954. That's awesome. 11. Train delays make headlines. What? Punctuality is a really big thing here, and train stations do everything possible to avoid a delay. Wow. If a train is five minutes late, the railway company might have to issue a delay certificate for railway workers and passengers who missed an important appointment. What? And if the delay is longer than an hour, then the railway company might give an official apology in newspapers. Wow, I'm late for wow. everything, so. Silent karaoke. This is a special microphone with a cone that you place over your mouth. It muffles most of the sounds when you sing. It was designed for people really? who don't want to wake up their neighbors and those who feel shy about belting their favorite oh, that's tunes me. in public. I'm awful. Number 13. Polite slurping. Well, in many countries, oh, no, slurping not this. is considered rude. I don't Japan, like slurping. It's a way to show your appreciation of the oh. dish. If you don't slurp when you eat noodles, then the chef will think that you don't enjoy the food. That's or so that it's different. Cold. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, good noodles. I don't, I'm not about that one, personally. Face napkins. When you eat a burger, it's never pretty because your mouth gets covered in ketchup or mustard. Sure. Owners of one fast food restaurant found a solution to this by serving burgers together with special napkins. A what? They cover the faces of guests who feel a bit embarrassed about looking messy while eating. 
<laughs> I'm quite self-conscious when I eat. What about you guys? Sinks. They're located right over the toilet tanks. The idea is simple. First, oh. you wash your hands over the sink, then the sink water goes straight into the toilet tank, That's and small. finally, you flush the toilet when you've done your business. That's small. So, you save water by using it twice. Aren't Great you idea. They don't do it the other way. Yeah, that's true. Number Sixteen, strange mayo. No, Japanese. I mayo love mayonnaise. Have any special recipe or ingredient? What is but this? They don't eat it with salads, meat, or sandwiches. In Japan, people usually use it as a topping for ice cream or on pancakes. No, mm, what? A chocolate sundae with mayo. <laughs> Nothing better. See, I love mayo, but that's a no. Naps at work. In Japanese culture, dozing off at the workplace or in a murray is considered a sign of being a hard-working person who is very committed to their job. I don't know about that. That's, that's why bad. Murray is so common, and no one thinks it's a bad thing. Some people even fake it. That's. I think you're working too hard if you're doing that. I'm sorry. You can find it in the basement of Moore's department store, which is located in the city of Kawasaki. The escalator has only five steps and is only 33 inches What's tall. What's the point of it? Well, that's one small step for a man. Okay. I really want to go to Japan. I'm going to have to check all of these things out. Eating canned food may not sound like a delicious treat for you, but there's a whole chain of restaurants all over the country where they serve only canned food. They're pretty what? popular since clients can choose from 300 varieties of food from all across the world. Who wants canned 20, food? Doll Village. The village of Nagoro used to have a population of 300 people, but less than 40 residents live there now. A local artist, Tsukumi Ayano, made over 300 life-size dolls, what? most of which look like former residents, and they're located in various states of action. For example, there's a whole classroom of them in I the village that's school cool that was bit, closed a while ago. A bit creepy? Number what do you 21, reckon? No fours. It's common for Japanese culture to avoid the number oh, four. Because really? it's considered to be very unlucky. Huh. That's why some buildings don't have a fourth floor. Stores wow. don't sell a set of cutlery for four. And the number of guests to some event can't be four. What? 22. As if. Blue traffic light. They oh. use a blue color Wait. instead of green for traffic lights. Seriously? The reason for that hides in their language. Historically, there was only one word for both colors. When traffic lights first appeared in the country, they were as green as anywhere else. But that green color was still called blue. To make ah. things right, the government decided to use the bluest shade of green possible. Okay? That's so weird! 23. Square watermelons. They were invented back Square. in the 70s by a graphic designer to fit compactly in the fridge and be cut more easily. Yeah, but they're not Japanese real. farmers grow them in special containers to get the shape. No Since way. Since they're pretty expensive, people don't buy them as food, but rather as a decorative item. These aren't real. 24. Foot bath train. Take foot the Tsudoi bath? tourist train to get the most comfortable oh, looks incredible. experience. This train has foot baths built of aromatic what? cypress wood and filled with warm spring water that can soothe the pain in your joints. You know what? That seems really so cool. You can soak your feet and enjoy beautiful views yeah, at you the know, same I am time down. while traveling from Nagoya to Yonoyama Onsen. Yes! Take me on that train. Futuristic toilets. Toilets in Japan oh. are very high-tech. To use one, Seen these. a person should know what all those buttons are for. I have for. no idea what the buttons meant. There's a meant. variety of functions, including heating the seat, Spraying warm water to clean the user up, and <laughs> even playing music. <laughs> what? They're missing is a refrigerator. Music. Wow. Who'd ever want to leave? I've, I've seen one of those in a sushi restaurant before. I was way too scared to use it. Ice cream it. flavors. Ice the cream. The Japanese love weird food combos. That's why finding an ice cream flavored with horse meat, cactus, charcoal, squid ink, garlic, or chicken no, wings no. won't be a problem here. No way. No way. Space saving parking lots. Since Japan is a densely populated country, busy they don't is. like to waste space. That's why their parking lots have a smart system. They're oh, designed wow. like multi-level garages. 28. That is small. Robot run hotel. In a hotel in Nagasaki, Dude, she robots not real. are a big part of its staff. No it's way. called the Henna, which they look translates real. as strange. The human-like androids meet the guests, clean the rooms, carry luggage, make coffee, and even smile. Seriously? However, real people work there too to recharge the robots and supervise how they perform their duties. Is that creepy or is that cool? 29. I don't know. Cafe Companion. 
cafe. Sitting alone in a cafe and enjoying your coffee and food is common for most people around the world. Yeah. But in the land of the rising sun, oh. you'll get a huge plush moomin to sit next to you Moon in one man. of the cafes. So you don't have to eat alone. Oh. And number 30. Robot restaurant. Ooh. Now, we know you've probably heard that robots are the future many times before. Well, they don't look However, as good as the other human robots, robots, but can look really at be a this! Of present. That's because in the capital city of Tokyo, you can visit Robot Restaurant, which what? stands apart offering a true one of Is it a nightclub? Is it a restaurant? not only are you it's served both. by robots, but perhaps more impressively, you get to experience a sensory overload of acrobats, dancers, musicians, and massive machines dancing and singing. Wow, in a that's shining and incredible. While this attraction may seem a little strange to many, it certainly is a must-see the next time you're in Yeah, Japan. you gotta go there just to experience that. You're not getting that anywhere else. And number 31. A Naki Sumo Baby Crying Contest. Crying? Although most parents try to get their babies not to cry while in public. Obviously. Naki Sumo Baby Crying Contest turns this concept on its head. Wait. That's because this contest, which takes place at the Sensoji Temple in Tokyo every year in April, this is essentially an event where sumo wrestlers will bring a baby on stage and try to make it cry as quickly and as loudly as that possible. Seems like child the abuse. Sumo wrestlers are often ruthless in their tactics. What? Generally using demon masks and shouting what? in the baby's faces. And How is this allowed? Reaction. Now, this tradition exists in the first place because it supposedly both helps to make the baby fat and scares away any demons that could be hiding inside of it. Scares and away demons? Hasn't been proven as of yet, it certainly makes for an interesting event. Uh, I don't think I'll be taking my kid to that. Number 32. Cuddle cafes. What? Let's face it. There's not a single one of you out there who doesn't like cuddling. I do like a good cuddle. Every now and then. Yet while cuddling is typically reserved for the couples in the West, Japan has begun to sell these experiences to those who are on the <laughs> lonelier side for a fee. What? Now, to be clear, these cafes have a strict rule that no funny business is allowed. Okay. Instead, offer a menu of rather strange options to satisfy their customers' desires. These options include anything from a quick 20-minute nap to a full 10-hour snooze fest. 10 hours! The equivalent of about $55 to $60 per hour. Just well, cuddling if you with like someone. To choose the girl you sleep with. You can expect to pay an additional five to ten dollars an hour. But if you're willing to splurge another ten to twenty bucks, you can get some truly odd add-ons. Like what? Features such as staring at the girl for one minute, getting patted on the head for three minutes. And while there are certainly some men and women that go for this type of service, it goes without saying that it would be seen as super strange in anywhere other than Japan. A number thirty-three. KFC for Christmas. No way. While Christmas may be a popular holiday in the West, for many years this was not the case in Japan. Okay, that's because fair enough. Because only about 1% of the country's population is Christian. Oh, thus wow. Thus making the holiday rather obscure. However, in the 1970s, KFC began an advertising campaign known as Kentucky for Christmas. Which this essentially is... offered large chicken-filled dinner specials around Christmas time. That's smart, smart it's advertising. The country's Christmasless void by giving Japanese people a quick easy and tasty way to meet up with friends and family during what is considered by much of the world as the holiday season. Wow. As a result, around Christmas time, about 3.6 million Japanese families choose to eat chicken made by the what? craft. And it is typical to have to call in weeks in advance to pre-order a Christmas bucket. They are laughing, KFC. This ultimately means that loving life. often 10 times busier for KFC than any other time of year earning reports showing that Japan's KFC restaurants make approximately one-third of their revenue in this month alone. Wow! As a result, this Japanese tradition, which entirely owes itself to globalization, is easily one of the stranger things to witness if you're in Japan during the holiday season. That was so interesting! Click on screen now to watch another video. Quickly click when I'll see you over there. That was awesome!